Live Jerome Party Studio. Live from Jerome Harden Studio. Live from Jerome Harden Studio. This is the last of my guest guys. I wanna say about so you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll see you later. What's up on JR? Are you sure alright? Let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest of my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. So the topic we're going to talk about today is, um, this topic is going to be about YouTube influencers and family. And if you don't know what YouTube influencers are, um, these are the people that be mostly on YouTube and gain millions and millions of subscribers and tell the audience um, about their lives, their children's lives, what their daily uh, routines all about and all that stuff. So um, if you watch YouTube daily and you get bored or get depressed at home and you know, want to know what's, um, what's there to watch, um, you can find a lot of resources on YouTube such as um, if you, if your car is broken down or how to or you know how and stuff um so let's say if you don't know how to fix a car youtube has that for real um let's say you don't know how to uh make art um youtube has that as well as me as well as graphic design that's how i got good at graphic design back in 2015 i watch youtube tutorials and stuff so um that's not what we're going to talk about today so what i got in front of me um it's going to be talking about um youtube influencers families you know youtube channels and all that stuff um let me ask you a question folks do you think the youtubers lives are real are they just put on an act are they fake um well we're gonna find that out that question pretty quickly because um what i'm about to tell you and what kind of information i'm giving you may take you by surprise so um i have all my notes written down here as far as what i have so far um let's see what do we have here um again this is an open conversation on this topic so um feel free to ask questions and also we're going to be um watching some videos and give you an example on uh some uh families may act fake or they may put on an act and on top of that <clears throat> they are using their children for abuse and to me that right there is exploiting children and if you make money off of them and you force them to act at such a young age it can lead some long mental health issues right there um so this is what i'm talking about and the same thing goes for hollywood child stars as well so um i'm gonna be talking about that um in the future as well so let's get on to this topic right here so um i need to ask you um well, I talk about the YouTube influencers, what they do. How do they live? Um, they live off a of YouTube, uh, off a of paycheck paid by YouTube based on the views they get, how they put on the app, how they exploit their children, and all that stuff, and how do they get their audience? Well, I still don't have an answer to that. Um, they may uh, post it on Facebook, and oh yeah, they post it on other social media platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, um, they post it on Facebook. Um, they uh, may send out emails. Um, they may get out business cards, put out flyers and all that stuff, tell people on the street, you know. Shit happens. I mean, things can happen that way if you get that many views. Um, and what is, is this their main source of income? Well, might as well. If they explain their kids for money, they put on an act, they faking, they pay actors money just to act a fool, you know, that stuff, just to do stupid stunts. And oh, yeah. I gotta tell you, um, I found this one YouTube influencer, it's a family, um, let's see, let me look this up right now, cause his girlfriend killed him when he's holding a book, um, uh, it was like this, to his chest, and his girlfriend, who was seven months pregnant by the way, is pointing a gun at the book, betting that the blunt wouldn't go through the book, which it did, and I was very sad, and I was very shocked that um these children uh lost their father because their father forced his girlfriend and he convinced his girlfriend 
to shoot the book, which is on his chest. And he was betting, and he he didn't think the consequences of his actions. He thought that the bullet wouldn't go through the book, but the bullet almost tore the book completely in half, and it killed him instantly. And the girlfriend is just uh, sitting there and saying, uh, oh my God, oh my God, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? I was just so upset. I was so sad for these kids. Not only they lost their mother, but they do still have, no, nah, not only they lost their father, but they still do have their mother. But, you know, once they find this shit out on YouTube, on the internet one day, they're going to hit their mother forever. Let me tell you this. So, um, yeah, I'm so disappointed and I'm very disgusted um, to see that, uh, to think about this to this day. Um, let me see. Uh, you, let me type this up. Uh, YouTube and little, oh, answer, girlfriend, shot him through All right, I'm hoping. Come on, come on, give me something. Give me woman who fatally shot boyfriend in YouTube stunt pleads guilty. So this happened um right at the end of 2017, which is uh let's see, four years ago. So um YouTube prankster jail for shooting boyfriend dead. Woman fatally shoots boyfriend. Okay, wow, this is crazy, folks. Um. Not interested. All right, girl, I'm not interested. Stop calling me. All right. So, all right, and this happened in Minnesota. So, let me read this out to y'all. And this is from the New York Times. Um, I'm reading from. So, the woman who shot her boyfriend in a YouTube stunt, pleads guilty. So, let me read this. Um, you can find this online, and uh, this is what I'm talking about. YouTube families going crazy for money. This is crazy. Going, and if, do you think your life is worth it for, for views? Do you think your life's really worth it? I mean, come on. You got to do better than that. All right, so, all right. <clears throat> says right here, a 20-year-old Minnesota woman whose quest for internet fame took a tragic turn when she fatally shot her boyfriend during a stunt apparently attended for YouTube has pleaded guilty. <coughs> Will you stop? No. All right. Sorry, folks. All right, let me start over. A 20-year-old Minnesota woman whose quest for internet, for internet fame took a tragic turn when she fatally shot her boyfriend during a stunt apparently intended for YouTube has pleaded guilty to second-degree manslaughter. In June, the woman, Mona Lisa Perez of Halstead, Minnesota, shot at a thick book that her boyfriend Pedro Ruiz III was holding, apparently believing that the bullet will not make it through the volume. That's just what I'm talking about. But the bullet went through the book and entered Mr. Ruiz's chest, fatally wounding the 22-year-old man. Over the next several days, Miss Perez and the YouTube video she had posted, she had previously posted with her boyfriend garnered much attention but not for the reasons she had hoped on friday miss perez entered her guilty plea according to court records local media reports that a plea agreement called for miss perez to spend 180 days in jail and spend the next 10 years on supervised probation through the pioneers press said a judge will have the final say on her sentence. Reports also said that the plea agreement prevented Miss Perez from making money off the video of the shooting and also barred her from possessing firearms for the rest of her life. Prosecutors expect her to be sentenced in February. She has she been convicted of second degree manslaughter at trial? Miss Perez could have faced up to 10 years in prison, a fine of up to $20,000 or both. Instead, the Star Tribune of Minneapolis reported that Ms. Perez would go to jail for the next 
for 30 days each year for the next two years and then become eligible to serve the rest of her six month jail term on electric home monitoring. James Rue, the Norman County attorney, did not return emails or phone calls seeking comment on Tuesday night. The lawyer listed in court documents as representing Ms. Perez could not be reached. <coughs> Over the course of several weeks last spring and summer, Ms. Perez and Mr. Ruran filmed at least 18 videos of mostly harmless pranks that offered a window into the young couple's budding life together. Those videos of Mr. Ruins climbing onto a tree branch and falling, for example, or of Miss Perez feeding her boyfriend a donut covered in baby powder rather than powdered sugar, were then posted on a YouTube channel. In one, Miss Perez and her boyfriend dreamed out loud about what it would like for them to become YouTube stars with more than 300,000 subscribers. The bigger we get, I'll be throwing parties, Mr. Ruins said. Why not? Then, then came the stunt that went horribly wrong. On the evening of June 26, Miss Perez told investigators that she shot Mr. Ruiz from about a foot away while he held a one a half an inch thick book to his chest. She described using a firearm that matched the gun found at the scene. A gold Desert Eagle .50 caliber pistol. Mr. Ruins had been trying to get her to fire the gun for a while, Miss Perez told investigators, according to code documents. They state that he had set up one camera on the back of the vehicle and another on the ladder to capture the stunt. To help pursue her to pull the trigger, Miss Ruins even showed Miss Perez the book that he previously shot himself. She told investigators, in that case, she said the bullet had not gone all the way through the text. I really had no idea what they were thinking. Sheriff Jeremy Thornton of Norman County said in a previous interview, I just don't understand it. Younger generation on trying to get their 15 minutes of fame. Well, do you think this was worth it? 15 minutes of fame? Or, you know, 15, you know, you want 15 minutes of fame, but you think it's worth your life? Um, no. And I was real, it's really sad that, you know, she, uh, Mr. Perez is forcing his girlfriend over and over again, convincing him to shoot her, to sh shoot at him through the book, hoping it will not kill him. But it did. It did. And now she has to, sp <coughs> she has to spend the rest of her life living through that. And she has lost so many, so much of her fan base because of it. I mean, this is crazy, folks. You got to be careful on how you think you're doing your stuff. I mean, I never thought about doing stunts like this. Or I never even heard the word for a while. But, you know, if you're trying to, you know, do stupid stunts for fame and all that stuff, it's just getting ridiculous. You need to stop that for real. I mean, this is an example I wanted to show y'all um, on why you shouldn't hurt yourself for money or get killed for money. And I saw another YouTuber trying to kill himself for views, which is horrible. I mean, you want to die to get attention? Come on. This is not cool, man. This is not cool. And it's like depression among dogs. They kill themselves um, because they're depressed. They want to get all the attention, all this stuff. Wow. <clears throat> all right. So, all right. All right. So now that we're done talking about this story, um, let's move on. So, um, you know, YouTube is created around February 2005, so this month is 17 years old. So, um, back then on YouTube, we didn't even have ads that would really be harassing us or annoy us. Um, we would just go through the videos, just watch our videos. We could watch our videos all day, all day, all night, no matter what we do. So, thank God for YouTube, but they need to stop all these ads for real. But, um, yeah, so, mention, you can also get famous on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, or any other social media platform. People nowadays are turning more to the internet more than TV itself. So, um, 
Yeah, that's true. T TV is like his channels and stuff, cable is all dying out. They're moving to the internet. They have Wi Fi now. So, YouTube, Netflix, uh, Disney Plus, all that stuff, they're moving all over. And cable's about to die out real soon. Um, Explain how it all. How all started with YouTube back in 2005. Um, yeah, just to explain that. Explain that these you, that these influencers may act differently off camera than on camera, especially with kids being involved. We need to talk about this. So, why are parents depending kids for views? Why? To get money, of course. And one example I want to show you. Um. Uh, I'm going to be going on YouTube and I'm going to be typing up um, fam family channels. Okay. And if I type in family channels, you see right here, type in family channels and you see a lot of dark information that you do not want to hear. Uh, they smiling for the camera, um, and the dark world of family bar. Here's another one, and saving. Oh wow! Girls running away from home. What happens? To famous YouTube family. Family channels must be sought. Here we go. Another one right here. Um, and the Prince family are the worst family channel. YouTube has to, oh, I gotta watch this one. I gotta see that. So, um, and Norris Nuts. Dark Side of Family Channels. Wow. So, I'm, I'm typing in Family Channels, and already I'm seeing a lot of negative reviews on Family Channels. Um, because, one, they explain children to child molesters and, um, creepy motherfuckers that, uh, like children a lot, and you know, it's really crazy. It's just like Hollywood. They use these child actors and exploit them, and they overwork them and stuff. Same thing for family channels. They want the money. They don't even care about their children's mental health and stuff. You know, that has long lasting effects. Um, uh, let's see, the Ace family has um, exploited children, and they flexing. They bought a overpriced house for ten million dollars. Just to put themselves in debt and hurt their credit. Um, and Daddy L5 um, just recently heard about him. And let me tell you, um, Daddy. Yeah, so Daddy L5, um, what he usually do is put on the camera and he talk about um, a lot of stuff. He's um, watching these kids get hurt fighting each other. And crying and bullying each other and hurting themselves, you know, and he's egging it on, you know, and uh, and I, uh, the one girl, the little girl, Emma, she just was very upset and she didn't want the camera in her face anymore, in their, her face anymore. She was really upset. She asked them to stop filming and, of course, the dad took her back there and beat her. That was crazy. So, it gotten so bad to the point they had to be sent back to their original parents, their original mom. So, um, wow, 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 man, that's crazy. They made a Simpsons reference out of Daddy 05. See, Bart Simpson, I'm oh, no, this Bart Simpson right here, this Homer, um, and I don't know who that is, but, you know, it should have been Marge, but she was way too fat to be, be Marge. But, you know, wow. Daddy 05 gets annoyed at Cody. So, um, yeah, but I'll give you a clip, an example of what I'm talking about right here. And, you know, them kids fighting and all that stuff. Yeah, this one has to be one of the worst challenges that I have ever seen. But, you know, they're in it for the money, of course. So, and next we're going to look at the Ace family. So, let's go back and I'll... Let's talk about it. So I didn't get the camera fast enough, but Alex and Cody are fighting over I don't even know what. He shot me for he for shot me Emma. He for shot like for trying for he, hurting Emma. He he That's Alex he, he shot me. Shut me up, hey boy. No one Hey! Stop it! Sit out! What are you doing? Don't run on the stairs! Alex! Stop! Stop! Guys! 
You all are listening! Stop! It listened so well, right? Give me my cards! Ow, I... Put it on. Stop! Who the hell? You better knock it off! Stop! I got the camera facing me! Stop! Duh! Boy, you better stop disrespecting me. I'm telling you that now. You better knock it off. I'm not wearing this shirt. You're gonna wear whatever the hell I say you're gonna wear. I'll put a damn dress on you if I want. See you. You see what I'm talking about? You see how they the kids are fighting, daddy will fight abusing the kids and all that stuff. You know, and you know, choking them, it's really, this really affecting their mental health for real. You know, the kids can get hurt by you, you choking them, really. I mean, look now. The most famous, famous families on YouTube, 2021 version. Well, they smell like in the camera. Again, it's not real. It's fake in the background. So, um, and again, not all family channels are bad. Some family channels are good. Some family channels are horrible. You know, it just depends on how they act for uh, how they treat their kids. Um, sometimes they can take their kids out the, on the out the videos. You know, just film themselves because they don't want to be selfish. They don't want to use their children for views. They just want to let their children be kids. You know, just give them a break. I mean, I'm so happy some of the parents are doing that. So, but still, we need to do better on these family channels. Um. It's not good right here. And the Ace family, what I'm talking about. Um, recently they flexing, they buying uh millions of dollars on cars, uh Lamborghinis, whatever you want to call luxury. Um, and they bought a house for ten million dollars, which they got evicted from. Um, and don't make me get started on Landa and Charlotte, cause I don't even want to talk about it. Um, yeah. So um. I'll give you a clip on the Ace family and tell me what you think. You look so handsome, man. Look at you. Come on, let's go show mommy. Let's go show mommy what you look like. Come on, show them you're all nice and so clean. Mommy, look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ace! Ace! <laughs> let's go pick her up. <laughs> let's go. I'll pick it, okay? That's for who? Me and mommy? Yeah. Okay. Me right. and, and I. Yeah. Okay. You made this? Yeah. You made it? Thank you, Elle. And it says your name back here? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I love you. I want to kiss you. I love you. That's five pounds, by the way. That's so heavy for a one year old. <laughs> what the? Oh my gosh. Ace, oh, you're a buster. baby. <laughs> what happened? It's okay. His lip is fine? Yeah, his gums. His gums hurt? They're bleeding? Yeah. No, let me see. I don't want to show you, but... What? His mouth is... Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Oh my god. He's fine, I don't want to show you. He's fine. Okay. Oh guys, girls, you guys go. Daddy got this. Well, he's not crying, so that's why I'm not no, freaking out. No, he never out. cries. Literally not freaking out because he's not crying. That's why I ran away because I don't want you to see anything. <laughs> You're fine. It's warm. It's warm water. I know. It's your lippies. I know. I know. Oh, baby. Where did it happen? I don't know. In the top lip? But you know, he's been sick and his mouth's been dry, so. Hey, just bite on this. Let me see. Good job. Good job. Damn. It's kind of... Leaking. Hey, hey, hey. Is it this or is it the tooth? It might be the tooth. No, I think it's the tooth cap. Yeah. You think it's the tooth that fell and uh, landed? Oh, no, no, no. no, it's just this. Okay. This is too much to be.
Okay, hold on. Way too much. We say, ah. Oh my god. Oh, it's a trap. Let me see. Let me see. Ah. Ah. Da da ah. His family can't have a besito from you? Why not, Papa? They, they're, they're wishing you to get better. No. <laughs> so he's at the no stage right now. Hey. I think it's no. Say bye, still boy. Bye. We love you guys so bye. much. We'll be back with more videos. Bye. Peace. Peace. <laughs> yeah, you see that? And also, um, when they were filming and their child, their son, got hurt and their mouth is bleeding, they took him to the hospital and they filmed the whole thing. It made me cringe. They film the whole thing and <clears throat> and they say, Oh, look at Landon. I mean, oh, look at our son. He bleeding. Oh, poor baby. Oh, poor baby. Oh, let, let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Ugh, man. Come on now. We got to do better than this shit. For real. Come on. Yeah, so, um, all right. So, yeah, that's a few examples I want to talk about. All right, moving on. So, what else will we need to talk about? Um, that explain that these influencers may act differently off camera than on camera. Um, yeah, so, uh, of course, they are um, rehearsing for a YouTube videos. They're telling their child on what to say, what to do, how to act, how to, um, you know, if, you, you know, you don't treat them right, it's going to, you know, affect their mental health. Some explain, explain some may hold jobs to fund their YouTube careers, businesses, and etc. Um, yeah, some YouTubers may have jobs, um, you know, uh, and I forgot to, uh, I forgot to, um, Sloan, if you're watching this, I really enjoy your videos, um, and I enjoy getting a lot of information and hearing a lot of information about these celebrities and YouTubers on how they act around their kids, around people, just to smile, just to give them a good impression. I mean, for real, on and behind the scenes, it's just like um, they are just um, terrible people. I mean, just like Hollywood. Um, yeah, and, and it's true. Some of them do hold jobs. Um, to fund their business. I mean, they got life outside of YouTube here anyway. They may have a business to do. Um, they may have jobs and all that stuff. <coughs> and these influencers may present false information, spread the wrong message, scam people, people spreading hates, among others. Um, these influencers do that too. Um, not all of them, of course, but you know, they do present false information, like you say. Um, they you uh they tell let's say um they hold up a contest and and the per first person who ever did this mostly or whoever did that wins one million dollars. Um, do you think these YouTuber influencers are gonna be going to give you one million dollars? Um, same five percent chance they're not. Um, and twenty five percent chance they will. Um, yeah. They do spread a lot of misinformation and hide their real image behind the camera. So, um, and talk about YouTube influencers having fan bases and sometimes people can have rivalries with other fan bases. Um, that reminds me too, uh, do you know Chris Hansen to catch a predator and all that stuff? Well, if you go on YouTube, you can find lots and lots of child predator catchers on YouTube right here in America. Uh, uh, these creep the creep catcher communities um, originated from Canada, and that's why that's where I first heard the community. Uh, the uh, creep catching community is when they catch predators, film them, shame them for me, attempting to meet a child, um, and and they uh, confess, confess to uh, come for the child, and they have to do some tasks uh, to either get free, or sometimes the uh, catcher calls the police and have them locked up. That's what they usually do. Um, and sometimes these, some of these creep catcher communities, creep catchers are just cringeworthy because they're acting they pay actors just to act creepy. Um, they just do in it for the money and all that stuff. <clears throat> and, you know, it's crazy. You know, 
just look up uh, YouTube creep catchers or predator poachers online and you'll find them. Some of them may be real, some of them may be not. Um, and also, um, let's move on. When YouTube get famous, two things can happen. They either get paid by YouTube and act selfishly towards lower crowds. I've seen that happen too. So even with their fan base, when their fans say hi to them or say, what's up? How you doing? I love your channel. Da, 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 da. But, you know, these YouTubers are just, you know, telling them, oh, shut the fuck up. Get on my channel, bitch. You know, all that stuff. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. That's how sometimes YouTubers act, you know, toward their fan base. You know, they very, act very selfishly. If I had a huge fan base like that, I wouldn't even act like that at all. I mean, to those that are watching my videos, I thank you so much for, you know, taking your time watching my videos, uh, giving all the information that I received so far. I mean, I really appreciate that. So, um, yeah. And mention about YouTubers brag bragging about being rich, flexing. Buying nice houses, expensive cars, vacation, all stuff. Yeah, I just already explained that, you know. And these you this one predator per poacher named Rami um brought himself a Tesla, and a lot a lot of people are getting very upset that he used his donations telling them, <coughs> Oh, I'm gonna donate to the Children's Society of America, helping children stay safe from creeps, you know, help children build better lives and all that stuff. But instead he bought a Tesla. How selfish is that? <coughs> and let's um, talk and conclude and for to be careful with YouTube fame, especially exploiting children. Talk about crazy fans, pedophiles, etc. Talk about flexing on people with cars, all that stuff. Explain clickbait. Yes, I forgot to tell you. Clickbait. Yes, that's what a lot of YouTubers do nowadays is clickbait to get views. So, um, clickbaiting is when you type in a title of what is happening instead of when you click on the video, it doesn't happen. They just tricked you. They lied to you. They just type in the words on what they're going to do and it's not happening just to get you to watch the video. That's why a lot of YouTubers do these days. Do these days, really. So, yeah, you got to be careful with YouTube fame, all this stuff. I mean... All that YouTube fame, like just like Hollywood, can turn you into a real selfish person these days. And it's happened a lot of fa on famous people lately. A lot of famous people act selfish towards others. And I don't see, I barely seen a very nice, true celebrity acting very, acting themselves towards people. You know, they build up characters just for the camera, just for the audience. And in real life, they're selfish. They don't know you exist. They'll just treat you like trash. You know, they'll throw you out the door. That's simple. Okay? So, um, yeah. So, that concludes this topic for today. And I hope you learned something from this topic. Because this is a lot that I'm explaining. And a lot that has been talked about today. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you on the next one. So, be on the lookout. All right? Alright, so I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I'm out. Peace.